Hey everybody, Tony Katz, PJTV. We are actually in the middle of the soapbox. The crowd is all here for Senator Chuck Grassley. <laughs> Glad to be with you. And thank you for helping make democracy work through uh, uh, promoting the process of representative government. Well, we're doing our job by making sure that people get to see. We'll, st we'll step up here. Okay. They want us to step up to actually speak into the microphone. So we're going to do both things. Uh, to, we're happy to be here, but I wanted to ask you, you spoke about uh, President Obama. Talk to me about the Super Committee. Do you see a value in the Super Committee? I think it's going to be a very difficult job, and I think it's uh, more prone to failure than success. But this situation so bad, I'm not going to pour cold water on it now. I'm going to encourage the process, because between now and Christmas, it's about the only hope. And uh, it, this country is in such bad shape from this president's fiscal policies that we've got to do everything we can to help turn it around. So I'm going to encourage the process, but I don't think it's a very good process. You talked about Congressman... <laughs> you talked about Congressman Wasserman Schultz. Uh, she is very fond of criticizing the eight uh, who were in the debate on Thursday for saying that even if it was a 10 to 1 ratio, they would not vote for tax increases. If it was a 10 to 1 ratio, should we vote for tax increases? You should not vote for tax increases because this country is not in the bad fiscal shape we are because each one of you are under tax is because Congress overspends. I can, I can tell if the president wants more revenue, I want the increased revenue to be come from the free market. I don't want the increased revenue to come from a political decision that Congress makes that we're going to increase marginal tax rates because quite frankly, you know, we're not going to get more revenue by increasing marginal tax rates. You can take a 50-year history of revenue coming into the federal government uh, and that 50-year history would be about 18 and 2 tenths percent of gross national product. You lay over that chart that's pretty much a straight line the marginal tax rates of 94 in the Eisenhower administration reduced to 70 uh, in the Kennedy administration, reduced to 50 uh, in the Reagan administration, reduced to 28 in the Reagan administration, raised to 40 percent in the first Bush administration, reduced to 35 percent uh, in the uh, uh, Bush, second. second Bush administration. Well, you know what? Higher higher tax rates don't bring in more revenue. You know why? Because the taxpayers of this country are smarter than Congress is. They know that they're, they know, they know, they know that they're going to give us bums only so much money to spend, and it's been pretty consistent at 18.2%. I don't know why the president, being a professor at Chicago University, wouldn't be smart enough to know that you increase uh, marginal tax rates that doesn't bring in more revenue. If you want to bring in more revenue, reduce marginal tax rates, have the uh, dynamics of our uh, economy, uh, encourage economic activity, and you're going to bring in more revenue, and we got plenty of history to show it going back to the Mellon tax cuts of the 1920s. Senator Chuck Grassley, <laughs> stay with us. Much more from the Iowa Straw Poll here at PJTV.com. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Senator.